Welcome to Discovery Briefs, where we aim to provide concise educational videos to help lawyers and legal support learn about legal technology and e-discovery. Have you ever looked at an e-discovery quote and wondered, what is e-discovery data processing? Sometimes you'll find that this line item can be pretty expensive, but what is it? Well, I'm here to shed some light on this and let you know what the benefits of this might be. At a high level, e-discovery data processing does two things. First, it converts your data for quicker review. And second, it's a necessary step to help you search for and find the documents that you're most interested in. So first, let's talk about data conversion. Data comes in all forms. Just think about all the different types of files and programs you encounter every day. When you write an email in Outlook, that's an MSG file. All those emails are contained in a mailbox container file, and sometimes that's called a PST. You create memos in Word, charts and tables in Excel, and presentations in PowerPoint. And you can even chat in Slack and send text messages in iMessage. You get the point. So, without data conversion, you would need to open each of these files in their own application. For example, Word files would open in Word, spreadsheets, and Excel, etc. In a litigation or investigation, sometimes you may need to review tens, hundreds, thousands, even millions of files. Opening each and every program would be too slow. And this is where data processing conversion comes in. Data processing takes the variety of files and converts them into one format that can be viewed in one program. For eDiscovery, this can be a review platform such as Relativity, Eclipse, Concordance, and that's just to name a few. And that saves you time, money, and frustration. The second purpose of eDiscovery data processing is to make data searchable so you can find the data that you really care about. Without this step, word search, technology-assisted review, and other AI technology would not be able to work. There are three key components in data processing that play a role for searchability. First is text extraction. This allows you to search the text of the documents. All the text from every file is extracted, indexed, and made searchable in an e-discovery review platform. Proper text extraction is critical for technology-assisted review and AI applications. And second is metadata extraction. This allows you to search through information about each file. For example, when was a file created? Who created it? And when did someone receive an email? These are data points that are often critical pieces of information that processing extracts and makes available for searching. Third is deduplication. In this step, duplicate files are removed, reducing the number of documents you need to search for and review. This is done by file hashing. File hashing is sometimes known by their algorithm names, MD5 and SHA. File hashing is similar to the fingerprint of each file. Files with identical hash values are duplicates, meaning they are the same, down to the text, punctuation, spacing, and capitalization inside. So there you have it. That's eDiscovery processing in a nutshell. It converts files so you can review and search quickly, all in one place. And it extracts all the information you need so you can find the data you really care about. Now, before we end, if you found this video helpful, please share it with someone. We want to provide helpful information to as many people as we can. If you have questions about legal technology and e-discovery, or just have a topic for the next video, please send me a note on LinkedIn or Twitter. I always look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.